mean, at this point, there's not even much mystery about, I mean, we've raised the temperature one degree. That melted the Arctic. That should um, be a little warning. We're already losing major physical features of the planet. It's an economic crisis, it's a civilization crisis, and ultimately it's a crisis of our species. This is a global problem. We absolutely need a global solution. There is a big cultural shift that's happening. You know, there's a movement for democracy, justice, and sustainability that is sweeping across the nation and actually across the planet. We believe that it's technically and economically feasible to repower the entire world's energy infrastructure for all purposes with renewable energy. That's where we're headed, to this new paradigm of abundance, where we can take this resource that produces more energy in a day than all the energy we can extract from all known sources underground ever. We understand the science, we understand the choices, and we're going to fund and support the businesses that actually bring us the kind of energy that we know will work for our future generations. So when we get together, cross-generational, and pull this together, it's just totally rewarding. This is a movement of people, that this is a movement about justice, that this is a, a global movement that's really about how do we put the planet and the people first. This is the largest social movement in human history. Climate change and the energy crisis puts it into perspective and how this moment is our opportunity to, to like take that next evolutionary thrust. The question is not if we are going to go to 100% renewable energy, it is how and when.